All right, hey guys, so I am doing another Hypercrate opening video. It's been a while because I've been uh, waiting for the price on these ones to go down and they kind of started going down and then went way back up again and finally started going down again. So um, I bought one for 5 million credits, which is probably more than I should pay, but I want to open one of these before all the new packs come out. So here we go. Let's see what we get. All the packs and our little special bonus pack there. And hopefully we get lots of decorations, because I don't have any of the decorations from this pack. Alright, some Jawa Junk. Sith Temple Bench, I'll take that. Let's see if we can preview that. That is not a Sith Temple Bench. That is a Sith Temple Bench. Nice little bench, I guess. I probably won't be using any of these for, like, actually as decorations. I mainly just want them as the prestige. I might do a Sith Stronghold down the road at some point. Let's break really just depends on uh, on which strongholds they release in the future. Another piece of the Orbalisk item set. Not sure how rare that is. I, probably not that rare because it's not really that cool looking. So it's a cool idea, but I don't know who actually wants to wear it. There's a, uh, oh, there's a gold marked thing. They're redoing the items marker things for that. Which is really nice because right now as they are they don't really make a lot of sense some of the stuff that's like super rare really isn't super rare emote shovel that could be might sell for a bit but i kind of like that guy too blizzard all right number four or five a rifle eh. and some boots leak boots i guess uh, some more boots, lots of boots today. And another rifle, minor wars and experience boost. I wouldn't mind some like major general experience boost since we'll be leveling up soon. Cartel certificate, that's good because I've spent most of mine on like black dyes and um, I don't know, a couple other things and decorations. Here's my second decoration, Imperial Security Console, another pair of bracers. Were those the bracers that had the extra slot, the enhancement slot by accident, or was that, that might have been a while ago. Alright, we got another certificate, a pickaxe emote, and a minor experience boost. This is a good pack. Ravager's Upper Body Armor. That sounds good, I don't know what it looks like. Probably not actually that good because it's not a super rare. Um, ooh, a Hut Cantina skiff. I didn't know they still made skiffs. Oh, nice. Alright, that's kind of cool. And an Imperial Command Center. That a, uh, that might be kind of rare for a large decoration. Hmm. It sells for a lot. I'm going to have to debate between whether I want to sell it or use it. Probably use it, but we'll see. I'd like to have that 100,000 prestige achievement. But to do that, you have to get 200,000 prestige, including the bonus, so I'm still in the speeder. I'm only at like... Up to. Yeah, 91 personal. I still have a while to go. You can hit it with the decorations currently in the game, but not easy. Some good stuff there, but nothing too unique. Another shovel emote, a Sith bunk bed. Sith bunk bed. Not a phrase you hear every day. Alright, so far I'm pretty happy with what I've been getting. Ooh, here you go. Two lights. Oh, I like those. But that's actually really cool. Sith Temple Hall light. Goes on the floor, I assume? Yeah, floor small or floor medium narrow. I wouldn't mind having a couple of these in case I ever make a Sith stronghold. That's kind of the one big category of decorations I haven't used yet. So I used most of my like noble ones on like my first stronghold or Dark Honor Guard. And some Jedi ones, and I use like the rest of all my Jedi ones on this stronghold. So it'd be good to have a place to put all my like Sith Dark Side stuff. Another shovel. Ooh, Majestic Varactyl. That's a pet. Kind of oddly proportioned there. Alright. 
I was going to do a like a Sith design in the cave that's here in the Avon Stronghold, but there's not like any hooks to it. So I really I couldn't do what I wanted to do there. Make like an ancient Sith tomb behind the temple. So instead I made a crystal cave and I'll save my Sith decorations for another day then. Ooh, two crystals? They might sell for a lot. Um I don't have a lightsaber. Oh yes I do. Vengeance unsealed lightsabers, we can see. Standard black red striated crystal. Not a big fan of the striated ones. And another cartel certificate. Alright, one more, and then I'll have to dump some of this into the cargo bay real quick. Ooh, more I'm glad I'm getting like a variety of things. And another one of these, I like that a lot. Alright, good stuff. Another minor XP boost. It'll be good for next week when the uh, stuff comes out. All right, I made some space. I've, I've been selling off as much stuff as I possibly can just to make space for this pack. These aren't going to stack either because the timers are all off. Oh. One more row just to be sure. They soon we're going to start using another tune to open these packs, but that's okay because now that crafting for conquest is pretty much over, I have a lot of room in my cargo bays. And I believe we're winning. This is the last week before 4.0. We are, yay. I still have a couple more mats left to go if we need them. Um, another little pet there. Die module. Alright, three to go. I'm not really sure what the big ticket items are in this one. I know there's... Oh, credit explosion. Haven't seen one of those in a while. And more boots. We're getting tons of boots today. I think we already had these, actually. There's a uh, Cyber Voranicus thing, which is actually a really lazy design on, on Bioware's part because I was leveling on Voss. Oh, there we go. Major experience boost, an Orbalist breastplate. I don't know if it actually sells for a lot, but hey, it's, it's, it's super rare, so. Um, okay. But yeah, this Cyber Voranicus is actually a enemy you fight a bunch of times on Voss. They literally just copied it and made it into a mount. Like, they didn't, they didn't take a... Ran a case and upgrade it. Another skiff. Sell those. Um, and they also don't sell for that much. I think I actually I think I bought one or two just as an investment. I figured they'll be worth something one day. All right, and the platinum pack. Let's see what super rare or better bonus item we get. It's probably gonna be like a random pair of gloves. I usually get horrible luck with these things. Eh, Havoc squad breastplate. That's not too bad. I don't think. Let's see how much that all sells for. Overall, a pretty good haul. There's, does it light up? Is this the light up one? I can't tell. Maybe not. Havoc Squad press play. Yeah, that sells for a lot. Okay. Happy with that. We have our crate explosion. What about the skiff? How's the skiff doing? Eh. Not so good, but I imagine that I don't know, give it a couple months and it'll probably be at least six or seven hundred K. What about the Orbalist one? 25k for a super rare. So that's what I mean. Their, their uh, marks there don't really match up with the demand. Plus these packs are still kind of new too. It's only been like a month since they've come out. I think it was the beginning of September that they came out. It's going to be a little more than a month then. But either way, new shipment's coming out soon. And, uh, and now all the cartel packs are available on the market too. So it'll be interesting to see what that does to the GTN market. But yeah, overall some pretty good stuff. I'm happy with it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching me open these, and uh, I'll be looking forward to opening a bunch more packs in 4.0. See you then.